Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's your baby. Asangwa baby. Asa, asa, asangwa baby. Hello, welcome on board. Today, I'm going to share with you guys how I shape this uh, pick and drop with my two colors. So, this is the look. This is the side. I ended up having a side pattern on my hair. And the side pattern is like a universal because you can uh, do it like all back like this. Yeah, you can make the hair all back and you can move it by the side. Like it's so versatile depending on how you want to style the hair. So, yeah. Yeah, I just want to leave it like this for now. So guys, let me show you guys the back. So this is the back of the hair. So, yeah. Uh, bringing it all in front. Yeah, it's like this. Which you can do all style. So, I want to see how I shape this pick and drop hair style and how I coil it as well. Stay tuned to watch the video and don't forget to give this video a big like. Subscribe to my channel, comment, share, and follow me on all social media. Let's jump into the video. Hello, beauties. This is the attachments that I'll be using for this hairstyle. Superstar 18 inches in color gold and expression in color BG. I'm done cutting and stretching the attachment. So this is how I'm going to mix the two colors together. I cut the attachments into three for the back of my hair and I used cutting two in the front of my hair. I'm applying shine and jam at the back of my hair. Then I will section my hair and apply it again another shine and jam at the sections for easy parting and neat looking hair. My hair has already been moisturized, sealed and stretched before this hairstyle. I will apply my shea butter mix for more hydrations because since we are doing a long protective hairstyle to make sure the hair is moisturized and not dry out while in protective styles. Sorry babes, if my mirror blinds you. I will braid my hair and I will braid past five inches of where my natural hair stops before I secure it because this will help me when I will dip my hair in hot water that the hot water won't touch my natural hair. I will use the same method throughout the braiding process. I will use my first braid as a guide. I will secure the hair properly so it doesn't unravel.
So guys, this is what I'm working with. Having your attachments in a rack like this will speed up the process of you making your hair. And this rack can hold up to 60 attachments and is a tabletop rack. I have a tutorial on how I prepare my attachments and it's coming soon. I will link it in the info section. I always use a clip to hold down my hairs to avoid pulling my hairs out. This is how I secure my braids. I will take a little side of the attachment, then I will wrap it around the braid and knot it. I will braid my hair, then I will add shine and charm to smooth my natural hair. I will braid past my natural hair. I will secure it by using a single attachment and wrap it around the braids. Pick and Drops hairstyle is a very easy hairstyle to do. I bet you to try it. And if you want more coils, if you have like, it's good if you have like short hair, so you can see more coils popping out. But if you have long hair, it's up to you if you want to dip your natural hair in hot water or if you don't want. And you can do Pick and Drop like with crochet, then you can see the coils more popping out, okay? Check out my other videos on hairstyles. I have a playlist videos for hairstyles and even for natural hairs as well. I will link it down below. I will do a side parting on my hair and I'll clip the other hair out of the way. I'm going to do the hair in a way that is going to be a universal styling.
babes if you are wondering what i was singing i'm enjoying the greatest love of all by whitney houston
we use a pair of scissors to trim any flyaways and trim the ends as well. So babes, this is how I prepare my braids for the coils. I will take six pieces of the braids and braid them together. If you like, you can take how many braids you want, but the bigger the braids, the bigger the coils, and the smaller the braids, the smaller the coils. So it's up to you to choose how you want your coils to look like. If you want tight coils, you have to braid your braids to be tight. But if you want loose coils, you have to braid your braids to be loose. And make sure you get all the braids so you don't miss any one, any braids. I will do the rest of the braids off camera and I will dip it in the hot water and I will be back. So babes, all the braids are done now and I have already put the braids in hot water. I will use a rag take home to separate the braids. And be gentle while losing the brace to avoid freeze. So babes, when dipping your brace in hot water, just leave it for 5 minutes or more. So to allow the brace to soak or absorb more water before removing it from the hot water. If you remove it so quickly, the whole brace will not absorb water and that means some braids will be coiled, why some braids will not be coiled. And please always remember to avoid the hot water, not touching your natural hairs, to avoid hair breakage when you take your hairs down. So this is not the original oil in the bottle. I have to use the bottle to put my own oil. I'll apply my oil mist on my scalp to avoid dry and itchy scalp. I'll apply apple hair cream on my breast to give it shine. I will apply cream of nation argan oil mousse on my braids to smooth any flyaways. I will apply cream of nation argan oil edge control to lay down my edges. Please babes, I'm looking for a very good edge control because cream of nation edge control doesn't hold down my edges for a long time. Please comment what edge control you use on your hair. So guys, this is the final look, yeah? I ended up doing a side party pattern on here. So this is the hair. This is the back. Yeah. See how long it is. All right, babes. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all social media. Comment and share. See you on my next video. It's your babe, Asamwa. Awesome.